Welcome to my Connecting Networks lab review. Here we're dealing with lab 7224, which is troubleshooting GRE. So this is what we're going to be a troubleshooting lab. So we actually have a few errors and corrections. Though one of the issues with this scenario is sometimes the instructions say to implement the solution, sometimes they don't. So with this one, I'm going to assume that we're going to implement the solution. I actually copied and pasted this into a Word document, and uh, I am going to cheat a little bit. I do happen to know that I have five issues, and three of them are on RA, and two of them are on RB. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hop on RA. I like to start everything with a show run, just so that I can see what's going on. Alright, so first thing I want to do, look at is... Addressing. I like to verify addressing first. So tunnel is zero's interface. That's its IP. And that's the IP it's supposed to have. Oh, notice that they are not the same. Okay, so with that said, we know, first of all, one error is the uh, tunnel zero IP address is incorrect. We know all right, so gig zero is connected out. Gig zero is one and two one six eight one one. Oh, we know that zero IP address is not correct. All right, the other addresses seem to look fine. Now our static route. So it's sending everything out serial zero 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 and then it's saying for that guy send out. But you'll notice that the address that's being sent to is the external IP, not the other end of the tunnel. So that means static route not correct. Because again, in the previous videos, we've actually always directed specific traffic to the internal IP address of the other side of our tunnel. So A, you'd be uh, sending all traffic out to the other end of the tunnel, which would be the 192.168.1.2. Two. So how we need to read that is we need to remove the other one and then we need to add in our new route that will fix it. We need to correct our tunnel IP and lastly for the gigabit one we need to go ahead and get rid of the IP address for tunnel zero, then we need to configure the appropriate IP address for our gig zero zero. All right, so let's go ahead and fix it. Config T. So let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna do the gig zero first, just because if you try doing the uh, fixing the tunnel IP, it's going to have an overlapping address. So it's easier just to do the gigabit link first. So int tunnel zero, no IP. Oh, uh, no IP address. Now right, with that, let's go and move the gig zero. IP address. 172.31.0.1 with the appropriate 
subnet mask. No shutdown. Interface panel zero. Let's go and set the IP address here, 192.168.1.1 with the appropriate slash 30 subnet, no shutdown. All right, so we've already fixed those two. So let's go ahead and do our static route. And I want, I'm gonna be a little bit lazy. I want to remove that route. I want to add in a new route, so IP route 172.31.1.0. With that subnet, I want it sent to 192.168.1.2, which is the other end. And there we go. We have finished that portion on RA. Now we can transition to the errors on RB. It doesn't tell you here, but uh, just going through this several times, I looked at both. Sometimes you'll actually have, uh, they'll split them up half and half, but I noticed this one had five squares, so I figured three errors on A, two errors on B, and that's generally how Cisco likes to do a lot of their tests. So I'm gonna hop on our B. I'm going to do the same thing. Enable. Show run. I like to double check addresses first, just because sadly you'll be surprised how often the things are not correct. Tunnel source. Okay, so notice here tunnel destination. Tunnel destination has to be the external IP address. Tunnel destination. And how we do that is we put it to the IP address, the external IP address. And also you'll notice tunnel source And that needed to be corrected because the tunnel will be being sent out serial 000. There is no, this is a logical connection that will leave serial 0. So the tunnel will go through the serial zeros. And those are our two mistakes. So let's go ahead and fix those two. So config T. This is going to be a nice, lovely challenge. What we can do is, oh, you know what? Times zero. Tunnel, you know what? I'll just type them out. Tunnel destination 209.165.122.2. Tunnel source, serial zero, 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 and that should be it. Let's go ahead and let's do our show run to verify. Source, serial zero, destination, that IP address. We are good to go. So let's go ahead and let's try to ping PCA, sorry, P. Let's ping from PCA to PCB. Again, notice PCB, PCC up here, They're a small typo. But I mean, mean is the same thing. First one should time out. Second one may or not time out. Third and fourth should go through. There we go. So that's the end of this lab. Sadly, when you're dealing with our VPNs, the things that you want to look at first are things like IP addresses, make sure they're correct. Look at the static route, because the static route is how we're going to forward the traffic. And if both of those are looking good, then we look at tunnel destination, and tunnel source, to make sure those are good. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.